Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's an exciting video because I'm going to be showing you my America haul. It's all of the stuff that I bought from New York, which I'm so excited to show you. I've been wanting to do this video for ages now. We've been back from New York for like three weeks and I've only just got around to doing it now. Basically when we got back from New York, we went straight back to work the next day. Obviously we suffered with jet lag and everything else. And yeah, it's it's took us a long time to get back into the swing of things basically. So if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's just get on into the video. I've got my coffee as well. Got to have a coffee. If you haven't noticed, I've had my hair dyed. It's gone a little bit lighter. Um, I'm, I wasn't sure on it at first, but I'm actually, it's really, really growing on me. So, the shops that I went to were Bath and Body Works, Sephora, Victoria's Secret, Ulta Beauty, um, Nintendo World. Basically, me and Sam had to buy another whole suitcase to get everything back. Because we bought that much stuff, we needed to add another suitcase on, buy an actual suitcase to bring home and then obviously put all of this in it. We went to so many different shops, but they are the shops that I've got things from to show you today. So I'm really, really excited. I don't know where to start, if I'm honest. I think I might start with Sephora. So I'm gonna start with Sephora, like I said. So the first things from Sephora that I picked up were these Sephora makeup wipes, and they're in the scent Watermelon. They're watermelon cleansing wipes, and also, I picked up a watermelon lip balm. I have used these already, I just couldn't help myself. These are the wipes, they're so nice. I, w I don't really like using them for like obviously taking my makeup off, but I like to use these when I've not got makeup on, but I just want to quickly like clean my face. These smell insane and they're really, really like nice and soft on your face. And then obviously the watermelon lip balm, it's like the same packaging. It's really cute actually, I love it. And obviously it's like a watermelon pinky colour. Next things I got were these eyelashes. They're called the House of Lashes Sephora Collection. So I really wanted to try these. They look really, really pretty. They just look like this. They like look really, really fluttery and nice. These are in the style Diana and yeah, I just think they're absolutely beautiful. Then I also bought some Duo eyelash glue in the dark tone. I've never tried this one, I've tried the pink one, but I've never tried this one before. I was running out of my brow pencil at, um, that I took with me, it's just like a revolution one. And I said to Sam, I've always wanted to try the Anastasia Beverly Hills like brow wiz. So we went in Sephora, we were looking around, Sam spotted this like little best brows ever kit it's called. It's got the full size browers in it, it's got the mini dip brow gel and the mini clear brow gel and they're, the, they're two things that I've always wanted to try from Anastasia as well. Then I picked up the Huda Beauty Loose Powder. Oh my gosh, this took us forever to find. It, it, it was sold out everywhere and we went into like I think we went in three different Sephora's. I have been using this and I can tell you as well that it's so good. It just looks like this, it's a square pot. I see um, Soph does nails and I think Jordan, well she's not called Soph does nails anymore, but I think Soph and Jordan rave about this. Um, and yeah, I can back that up and say it's amazing. Whoa. And it even smells like, oh my God, it smells amazing. Next thing I got was a Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Always wanted to try this Fenty lip gloss. It's in the shade Fenty Glow and it looks like this. I've heard so many people rave about this. Oh my god that sound. It smells amazing as well. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll put a swatch on my hand. But yeah, so with lip liner and then that on top, it's meant to look amazing. So that was everything I got from Sephora. Like I say, I don't know how much everything cost altogether, um, but throughout this whole haul, I think I must have spent over $600. It's crazy how much we would have spent. Definitely over $600. I'm now gonna move on to Victoria's Secret. So the first things were some pants. So they're a bit out there, 
but I loved them anyway. And when Sam went to New York, he bought me like loads and loads of like Victoria's Secret pants and they were so nice. Um, so I thought I may as well pick up some more. So I just got these ones which have just got flowers on and then they've on the band it just says Victoria's Secret. So I got those ones and then I also got these ones as well. They've got really, really big lace on them. So yeah, they were the two pants that I picked up. I can't actually remember how much they were. Then I got this which is so, so nice. So it's like a makeup bag and then you get makeup bags inside it as well. Bag or little purse that you could use I suppose that says love on it as well and it says Victoria's Secret up here it's really really cute and then you also get this bag in there too which is amazing like you get three bags in here and that was meant to be $38 and I think I swear I got this for 10 and then the last thing I got from Victoria's Secret was this body mist can't go wrong with Victoria's Secret body mist they are amazing and this is in the scent crimson berries they were having the sale obviously after Christmas and that and get rid of all the Christmas stock and obviously this was a Christmas spray. It doesn't smell Christmassy at all. It just smells like really fresh and fruity. When we went in the Empire State Building, um, I got something little from the gift shop in there. So I'll just quickly show you that. I just got this really, really cute key ring. It just looks like this. Got a little bear on it. And then it's also got the em a little Empire State building if you can see that so i got that and that was ten dollars 99 i thought I may as well get a little bit of a memorabilia um and buy that so that's gonna go on my car keys next place i'm gonna go on to is bath and body works now we got so much stuff from bath and body works like loads so they had a men's collection so i'm gonna show you the bits that sam got they're not all here because i think he's got one or two things with him there's this two-in-one hair and body wash this is in the scent mineral it's called so it just looks like this and then he also got a, another one of that collection two-in-one hair and body wash and this oh it smells so good as well <laughs> this is in the scent amber so it just looks like this these will just be perfect because he works away just to put in his like little wash bag and take them away with him. The next thing he picked up was this ultra sheer body cream in suede it's called and this just smells so manly it smells amazing I, like I said in one of my other videos I wish you could have smell -a vision because showing you this stuff is, is alright because I'm just showing you the packaging but you need to smell it. And then the last thing he got was this moisturising body wash so this is in the graphite scent yeah that just smells so manly as well it smells like aftershave it smells so nice like i said he has already got some stuff i think he had one of these another one of these that he's already got and then he also had like a little hand sanitizer as well but he's already using those so i can't actually show you them because he's not here with me today but yeah so that was all of what sam got from bath and body works so i'm going to start with my like body washes and that what i got first things are these that it's the same item basically it's a two-in-one body wash and bubble bath sam picked these up actually and he just thought that they look really really cool so these are for both of us and yeah the bottle just looks like this it's got like the kaleidoscope like pattern in the back it looks so cool it's called kaleidoscope two-in-one body wash and bubble bath so we picked up two of those just look like that you're probably going to think i'm crazy but the next things i picked up three now when sam went to new york in august he picked me up some of um of this and oh my god i just fell in love with it oh it smells amazing this is one of my favorite scents this is in the stars collection um moisturizing body wash like i say this type of like body wash is the best one i think from bath and body works i've literally just ran out of the one that sam got me in my shower i'll be opening one of these next i found this new collection which had just launched um in bath and body works it said it was new so it's called into the night and this collection i looked at the whole collection and i've picked up a few different bits from it to be honest because this scent 
also smells oh, absolutely amazing so alongside that in the stars one this is one of my favorites as well then i also picked up this super rich moisturizing body wash just in shea butter and cocoa nut oil and it's just called magic in the air that just smells insane as well. But yeah, so that was the other body wash that we got. So we're fully stocked up on body wash now, like fully. Next things from Bath & Body Works are these body mists. Now, oh my gosh, these are insane as well. These are from the same collection as the In The Night because they're the Into The Night collection. It just looks like this and... Oh. Smells insane. Smells amazing. I got three of those. They're, they're just handy to have in my bag, like pop in my bag. I, of course, had to pick up a Bath & Body Works candle, so I did. I picked up one. I was really, really annoyed because I couldn't pick up any more than one because they're just so heavy. Got my hands on this one. It's um, It was in the sale because it's a Christmas candle, but I'm not bothered. I'll still burn it. It's so cute. It's in the cutest little case. The top is like snow, as you can see. It looks like snow like dripping down. And it's called Elf Village. It just looks like this. And it's got cute little Christmas designs all around it. And it's called Crush Candy Cane Scented Candle with essential oils. And it just smells of candy canes. Next thing is this vanilla snowflake gentle foaming hand soap sam got me a hand soap when he went and it's like an orange scented one and it smells amazing so i wanted to pick up another one and i just got this it's just a white bottle and it says merry christmas on it it was in the sale creamy vanilla toasted coconut and sparkling citrus the last few bits i got was of course some hand sanitizers now if you like know about Bath & Body Works like I did I was absolutely obsessed so I knew exactly what I wanted to get I think Bath & Body Works is so so well known for their hand sanitizers anyway but yeah so I wanted to pick up some of those so here I have got one two three four five six seven eight first one I'm going to show you is just different to all the rest so it just looks like this and it's called Dash Hound Through the Snow I am obsessed with sausage dogs. I really want a dash hound puppy, like so, so bad. But I can't have one yet, I'm still living at home. We've got a cat and my mum and stepdad just won't let me have one. But I'd love to have one. Sam saw this and just thought it was so funny and so me. So we had to pick it up. It's got a little dash hound on it. Let me see, I've not tried this one yet. Oh, oh my God. It's like whipped cream. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I've not even tried this one yet. That is so weird. So that was the first hand sanitizer I got. And then, of course, I picked up these ones. These are the ones that are like really like Bath and Body Works are well known for. So they just look like this. They're so, so cute. So I got loads of different flavours. So this first one that I was showing you is Cucumber Melon. And they have like the little bacterial like beads in as you can see i then got this one which is vanilla coconut this one which is orange cream soda stay positive because it's like meant to obviously be a dog the next one is this one and it's just called team scrubs it just looks like this um and also got the beads and then i got the Into the Night scent as well. It took me forever to find these. I went into one, the first Bath & Body Workshop and they didn't have it, so I was gutted. And then we found them in the second one, just because I love this scent. As you know, same Into the Night like collection picture that it has on the front. This one looks a little bit different because it's in a case now. Because I got all these hand sanitizers, I had to get a case. They had so many groovy cases, like so many. But I just got like a little plain one just looks like this, it's sparkly, um, white one. It's really, really cute, so I hang that on my bag. I've been using it already, because I've been using this hand sanitizer. As you can see, it's nearly all gone. So that was it from Bath & Body Works. Love that shop. Whenever I go to America, I will definitely be going in to there and stocking up on my favorite bit. Now moving on to Nintendo World. Nintendo World was probably one of our biggest splurges ever. It was a last minute decision. We bought a Nintendo Switch. 
So basically, Sam has a Nintendo Switch, which I bought him like two years ago for Christmas. Like when they first came out, I bought him it for Christmas. Um, but he was silly. He left it on charge, ready for like the flight and everything, but he left it at my house. So we didn't have it for the whole flight or the holiday and he was really missing it. Obviously, we went in Nintendo World, bought some games and he, he was like, I really want that Switch. Basically trying to pass it off to me as if to say like, you need one anyway. So we'll just get it. <laughs> but yeah, so we splurged and we bought a Nintendo Switch Lite. So it just looks like this. It's got fingerprints all over it, it looks gammy. So just ignore that, but I've been playing on it. I love it. <laughs> we bought some games as well, but I've not got them on me. And then obviously when we were in there, we bought this case. It's just got like three games in there, which are Super Mario Maker 2, Harry Potter Collection, and Mario Odyssey. And then in here, I've been playing at the minute, is LA Noir. So we bought that, splurged, I know, but hey, we're on, we were on holiday, so we're meant to be spending money. We did save up, it was our savings that we took. Um, it was all our own money that we were spending, so it was up to us what we spend it, spent, it, spent it on. And New York was a holiday of a lifetime, so we just wanted to treat ourselves, really. Now moving on to the last place, and that is Ulta Beauty. When I walked through doors, I was just like, oh my god and the first thing i saw was kylie jenner's like some of her collection and i literally turned to sam and i was like oh my god i forgot that kylie like stocked in Ulta. like i totally forgot so did kim tart had so much more stuff in there there was ofra oh my god i was in my element and that is why i say you need to go to Ulta. Like, Ulta topped Sephora for me, like, topped it. I definitely did a lot of damage because I've got this big receipt and all together, I actually bought this receipt home, I don't know why. I think it's because I wanted to keep the Ulta bag, but all together, I spent $360.50. So, yeah. Definitely left a big hole in the old wallet, but... Oh well. So the first thing I picked up was this Kylie Try It kit, it's called. It just looks like this. It's a little bundle and it said Auto Beauty Holiday Exclusive. So it's $49 that got a value of $74, but I paid $24.50 from $49. Like what? So inside this is what it looks like so inside you get this which is a single like eyeshadow thing which is good actually for like just doing a natural eye look so you've got like a crease color and then obviously a lid color which is the shiny and you also get a blush this is what the blush looks like it is beautiful this is in the shade we're going shopping it's a gorgeous color it's literally my color i love a good coral blush then comes with a lip liner and liquid lip set this lip liner it's in the shade iced latte that is the color i will do a little swatch on my hand it's like a really really nice brown shade then the li liquid lip is in the shade bear so it just looks like this, it's beautiful. Excuse the state of my swatches, they're not the best at all. But that is what the lip looks like next to the liner. That is gorgeous. The last thing that you get in it is a actual lipstick. And this is in the shade Almost Friday. And it looks like this. So that is the shade here absolutely gorgeous i love that color next thing is another kylie thing of course so i picked up the coco liquid lip collection so the packaging just looks like this when she first came out with this i was obsessed with the colors in it this is what they look like in the packaging so i will get them out and i'll do swatches of them for you as well oh and this set was 40 dollars. so this liquid lip set for the four liquid lips is more than that set so that was the set that was on sale but this was $40 I'm gonna start with this one this one is called Chloe it's a really nice nude they smell so good as well 
is what the shade looks like. Next, I'm going to do the shade... Right, I can't ever say this, but it's the... Oh, crap! That was quite good, actually. It was alright for me. Like, I can't ever do that. This is a bright, like, vibrant pink. I don't know when I'm going to use this. Probably in the summer. But that is that shade. It is still beautiful. I hope I can pull that off. It looks kind of red on camera, but it is like a pinky. Then I've got Gorge. Right, it's not one to focus, but that is a gorgeous colour as well. Hopefully it doesn't, like, sh go streaky. And the last shade is called Damgina. And it's like a sparkly gloss. So pretty. So there are all the swatches there on my hand. There we go, it's focused this time. How gorgeous is that lip set? Then the last things I got from the Kylie section were, of course, some lip kits. The kits I got were Dolce K, Coco K and Candy K. So these are her like original like OG lip kits. So I had to pick up these and obviously they're in nude shades. So this is Candy K, Coco K. This is like more of a pink. So the lipstick and the lip liner. And then Dolce K, which is more of a brown. The next thing I got was when we were queuing up to pay and I picked up these two beauty blenders by Real Techniques. I've never seen these ones before but they are the Fasted Sponge Duo for glowing skin. They just look like this. They're just like diamond shape which you get two in a pack and they were 9 99 and I got them for 4 97 Next thing is a thing that I also saw on the way to the checkout and oh my god i'm so happy i spotted it it's the physicians formula butter bronzer now oh my god i can't contain how excited i was this is what it looks like it's in a little multicolored case and it just says butter bronzer on there and then this is what it looks like inside. That was $15.99. Next things I got were heart shape tape. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted to go to Auto Beauty for. Obviously, as you can see, I picked two because stocked up, why not? They were $27 each. Next things are something else that I'm so excited about. This whole this altar haul is just oh, heaven to me. I got my hands on, finally, some Ofra highlighters. I got the shades Glazed Donut, which is the Nikki Tutorials Club, and Rodeo Drive, because that's like one of the most popular. They come in these gorgeous compact cases. Oh, I love those. So I'll do some swatches now. So this one is Glazed Donut and this one is Rodeo Drive. So they are now added to my collection as well. Moving on to the last few things now. The next thing I got my hands on was this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip set. This set comes with three liquid lipsticks and two lip glosses. All perfect perfect nudes so here are the swatches this one here is called on mute it's like a beautiful like brownie shade this one here which is like a peachy color is called peachy <laughs> this color right here i've already used and i love it it's the perfect brownie nude and that one is called sand and then I'm going to swatch the glosses so this one right here is called beaming like it looks like iridescent that's beautiful this one is summer vibes that one is beaming and then this one is summer vibes now on to the final thing of this haul and I finally got my hands on the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. So this is what it looks like when you take it out of the little flower bag. It's got this beautiful gold top and obviously it just says Beauty Bakery Flower. It says better, not bitter. How cute. And then this is what it just looks like inside. It's just like a normal translucent powder. Yeah, all together it all costs. $360.43 from Ulta 
um, plus obviously my Nintendo World, plus my um, Bath and Body Works, plus Victoria's Secret, and plus Sephora. Literally all of it. So I must have spent like six hundred dollars plus, which is ridiculous. I know, but hey ho, we went to New York. We spent our money. We'd saved up, so. We deserved it kind of i really really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up if you did leave me a comment down below telling me what your favorite thing was thank you also so much for your support and all your comments and everything that you do to support this channel anyway um it means the world to me we are literally on the road to a thousand subscribers and i couldn't be any happier so thank you all so much that was the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.